Lego Set 10252 Volkswagen Beetle Being one of the several non-minifigure scale vehicles being released after the set 10218 Volkswagen T1 camper van, it is the first to be directly based off of the previously released set. Being released under the same name in 2008, set 10187 has 1,626 pieces and originally went for $120. The 2016 model has 1,167 pieces and went for $20 less. What makes this newer model better is its better size, the brighter shade of blue use and its use of smoother pieces, with many not being available at the time the original came out. The newer one also has different accessories of the car including a cooler and a surfboard. LEGO Set 70595 Ultra Stealth Raider Releasing in 2016, this large Ninjago vehicle features many different functions, which involves separating into of course smaller vehicles. The 2012 set, 9449 Ultra Sonic Raider, has a similar feature, being able to split into two, not four. It has 622 pieces, which for $80 and has six minifigures. These include Pi-4, Spitta, and all four original Ninja. The newer set has 1,093 pieces, went for $100 and has 7 minifigures. These include Chen, Izor, Sensei Yang, and all four original Ninja. Along with the vehicle, it has a robot dinosaur for Chen, and in general the vehicle has a much better design and more room for the team. For this entry, I've decided to put two of the LEGO Batman movie sets from 2017. The first is LEGO Set 70909 Batcave Break-In. It has 1,047 pieces, went for $100 and has 7 minifigures and 2 penguin figures. These minifigures are Batman, Bruce Wayne, Alfred, three of the bat suits, and the penguin. The previous version was LEGO Set 6860, the Batcave. It has 690 pieces, went for $70 and has 5 minifigures. These minifigures are Batman, Bruce Wayne, Robin, Bane, and Poison Ivy. Both features a prison transformation function, computer, and room for tools. However, this newer version is a much bigger and better. Plus, it includes a riptide boat and penguins duck boat instead of a small motorbike and drill. The second one I want to mention is LEGO Set 70912 Arkham Asylum. It has 1,626 pieces, went for $150, and has 13 minifigures. These include Batman, Robin, Barbara Gordon, Aaron Cash, Dr. Harleen, two GCPS officers, the Joker, Two Face, Poison Ivy, the Riddler, and Catwoman. The original version is LEGO Set 10947, Batman Arkham Asylum Breakout. It has 1,692 pieces, went for $160, and has 8 minifigures. These include Batman, Robin, the Guard, Dr. Harleen, the Joker, Poison Ivy, the Penguin, and Scarecrow. Even though this 2013 one has more gothic design, includes a van and gate. This newer one has a GCPD car, security tower, and other small accessories. The newer one also has a more interesting color and more functions. Similar to what I did in the last entry, including a couple of Avenger sets, LEGO Set 76104, the Hulkbuster Smash Up, and LEGO Set 76124, Work Machine Hulkbuster. Both are much better versions of the 2015 LEGO Set 76031, the Hulkbuster Smash. The Avengers Infinity War version from 2018 has 375 pieces, went for $30, and includes Bruce Banner, Falcon, Proxima Midnight, and an Outrider. The Avengers Endgame version from 2019 has 362 pieces, went for $35, and includes War Machine, Ant Man, and two Outriders. The Avengers Age of Ultron version has 248 pieces, went for $30, and includes Iron Man, Scarlet Witch, Ultron, and a Big Thick Hulk. Both recent Hulkbusters are much better builds and functions, but them also have bigger piece counts. The other one I want to go over is LEGO Set 76126 Avengers Ultimate Quinjet. Also from 2019, has 838 pieces, went for $80, and includes 4 Black Widow, Hawkeye, Rocket, and 2 Chicharis. Skipping over the Civil War version, the 2015 Twin Jet is LEGO Set 7632, the Avengers Twin Jet Ch City Chase. It has 722 pieces, went for $80, and includes Iron Man, Captain America, Black Widow, Ultron, and Vision. Even though this version also has a van, the newer one is much larger, has more features, and has a bigger wing design. LEGO Set 10268, Vesta's Wind Turbine. Definitely being the strangest set on this list, this late 2018 release is closely based off the LEGO Set 4999, which is under the same name. This newer edition has 826 pieces, one for $200 and has 3 minifigures. The older edition has 815 pieces, also has 3 minifigures, and is only available in the limited release in Vestas. Even though they are most similar to the build, the newer one is more refined and includes a couple of new pe newer pieces, and it is easier to get in general. 
LEGO Set 21042, Statue of Liberty. Being released under the architecture line in 2018, it has 1,685 pieces and went for $120. With the high amount of pieces it has, it includes tons of details in order to replicate the famous landmark. Even though it was released under the Creator Expert line in 2000, I consider LEGO Set 3450, Statue of Liberty, previous version. It has 2,282 pieces and went for $200. Since it was released almost 20 years ago, it is very blocky and something the newer one doesn't have a problem with. The older one is bigger, but it doesn't really look up good up close. LEGO Set 10257, Carousel. Speaking of the Creator Expert line, this fairground set has 2,607 pieces, went for $200 and has 7 minifigures. This is very similar to LEGO Set 10196, Grand Carousel. Being much bigger, it has 3,263 pieces, went for $250 and has 9 minifigures. Even with its size, many consider the old older one pretty bland. It features only horses and a carriage, using a power function to move around in a circle. The newer one has brighter colors and includes the animals of a frog, tiger, swan, flamingo, elephant, and a carriage to go along with it. The power function is used to spin around in a circle while also having to move up and down. Since there are so many, I decided to dedicate this entire entry to 5 sets from the LEGO Star Wars theme. This is LEGO Set 9516 Jabba's Palace. It has 717 pieces, went for $120, and has 6 minifigures and three figures. These include Jabba himself, Bib Fortuna, Han Solo, Princess Leia, Chewbacca, Ula, Salacious B. Crumb, and a Gamorrean guard, and a more monk. This was based off three sets from 2003, which is basically parts of the 2012 set. The main one is LEGO Set 4480, Jabba's Palace, which has 231 pieces, one for $30, and has six minifigures. These are Jabba, Luke, Leia, Gamora Monk, Gong Droid, and EV-99. Then there's LEGO Set 4475, Jabba's Message, which has 46 pieces, went for $7 and has Bib Fortuna, C3PO, and R2-D2. Last of these is LEGO Set 4476, Jabba's Prize, which has 40 pieces, went for $7 and has Gamorrean Guard and Boba Fett. The newer one has much more room, better figures, and includes more features. In a general has more spin-off sets released within a year afterwards. One of these is LEGO Set 75020, which has 820 pieces, went for $120 and has 6 minifigures. This LEGO set is Jabba's Sail Barge, and the figures included are Jabba, Slave Leia, R2-D2, Reed G's, Requay, and Max Rebo. The original version is LEGO set 6210, Jabba's Sail Barge, with a 781 pieces, one for $75, and has 8 figures. These are Jabba, Luke, Slave Leia, R2-D2, Boba Fett, and a Gamorrean Guard, along with Han Solo and Lindo Carizian. The 2013 one compared to the True Gun 6 one is more stable, has more room, and in general is a better look. The only thing the older one is going for is the inclusion of a desert skiff and pit. Next is LEGO Set 7964 Republic Frigate from 2011. It has 1,015 pieces, one for $120 and has 5 minifigures. These are Yoda, Eve Koff, Gwendolyn Boss, Commander Wolf, and a Clone Trooper. This Clone Wars set is very similar to the Star Wars Episode 1 LEGO Set 7665 Republic Cruiser from 2007. It has 919 pieces, one for $90 and has 5 minifigures. These are Obi-Wan, Qui-Gon, two Republic pilots, and R2 Star 7. With the gray color highlights and refined features, the newer one also has more interesting figures and a bigger piece count. One of the more recent Star Wars sets is LEGO Set 75243, Slip 1. This 2019 set is slightly overpriced with 1,007 pieces, going for $120 and including 5 minifigures. These are Han Solo, Boba Fett, Warlong, Zuckus, and Classic Princess Leia figure. Many of these 20th anniversary sets are remakes of older ones being based off the 2000 version, but instead I will compare it to the 2010 one. Like I said, 8097, Slave 1, has 573 pieces, went for $80 and stream minifigures. These are Boba Fett, Han Solo, and Bosk. Honestly, all versions besides the UCS version have been overpriced, but this newer one is a bigger improvement. It has twice the amount of pieces, more figures, and has a smoother pieces in general. Lastly is LEGO Set 8095, General Grievous' the Starfighter. It has 452 pieces, one for $50 and three minifigures. These are General Grievous, EVA4D, and Nadar Veb. This 2010 model is probably the biggest improvement a set could get when compared to the 2007 one. This is LEGO Set 7656, General Grievous' the Starfighter. It has 232 pieces, one for $20 and only has General Grievous as the figure. The two are very different in size, with the older one being very basic. However, the 2010 set has aged very well, and I even have it. 
it would be cool to see a new one though with some quick fire missiles and more figures. I also didn't want to fill this list with Ninjago set remake, so I dedicated an entire entry to some of my favorite from the newer 2019 Legacy Wave. First, it's my favorite LEGO set, 70679 Ultra Dragon. It is 951 pieces, one for $85, and has 6 minifigures. These are Lloyd, Wu, Garbodon, Pyfor, Lash, and Spitta. It is based off one of my all-time favorite Ninjago sets, LEGO set 9450 Epic Dragon Battle. It is 915 pieces, one for $120, and includes 7 minifigures. It is J, Lloyd, Wu, Garbodon, Chokun, Asidicus, and Scaledor. Even though the 2012 set also has a great devour in parts of Ouroboros, the newer dragon is bigger, has more pieces, and in general, all three of the builds from the older set are much lower in piece count. Next is LEGO set 70670, Monastery of Spinjitsu. It is 1070 pieces, went for $80 and has 80 minifigures. These are Wu, L6 Ninja, and Whiplash. It's somewhat modeled after the 2011 LEGO set 2504, Spinjitsu Jojo. It is 373 pieces, one for $50, and includes Wu, Zane, and Knuckle. The newer one has a similar look to the smaller, more play feature focused original, but now has a main section in order to back up the complete thing. You can also completely close it. Lastly is LEGO Set 70668 J Stormfighter. It has 490 pieces, one for $40, and it's four minifigures. These are J, Nia, Lasha, and Pyfor. The 2012 model of LEGO Set 9442, J Stormfighter. It has 242 pieces, one for $25, and includes J and Snappa. The latest set is definitely much more bigger, has improved play functions, and added missiles, and has smoothed their pieces. The final entry on this list are two 2018 LEGO Harry Potter sets. One is LEGO Set 759953, Hogwarts Swapping Willows. It has 753 pieces, one for $70, and includes six minifigures. These are Harry, Ron, Hermione, Snape, Seamus, and Filch. Along with this is LEGO Set 75954, Hogwarts Great Hall. It is 878 pieces, one for $100, and has 10 minifigures. These are Harry, Ron, Hermione, Draco, Susan, Dumbledore, Hagrid, McGonagall, Quirrell, and nearly head to Snick. Both are able to combine with more of these expansion sets on the way. They each are very similar to the 2010 and 2011 Harry Potter sets, with a main set and expansion. One is LEGO Set 4842, Hogwarts Castle. It is 1,290 pieces, one for $130, and includes 10 minifigures. These are Harry, Hermione, Dumbledore, Snape, Filch, McGonagall, Flitwick, Voldemort, and two Dementors. The expansion was LEGO Set 4867, Hogwarts. It has 466 pieces, one for $50, and a seven minifigures. These are Harry, Neville, Goyle, Professor Strout, Lupin, Lucius Malfoy, and a Dementor. Both of the older ones are great in their own way, but with the possibility of more Wizarding World Castle sets, we could see really see the greatness of a LEGO Hogwarts.